Today on WSRH Extra, we see how the Construction Academy has brought smiles to local families' faces. Also, how seniors are making their last days at the Ridge memorable. Plus, we highlight some staff here at the Ridge that has left a great impact on our students. WSRH Extra starts now. Welcome to this episode of WSRH Extra. I'm Madison Newman. And I'm Andrea Devino. We'll have a few more seniors anchoring one last time later on in the broadcast for our annual senior show. These seniors include Blake Waterman, Presley Rodriguez, Joy Marie Freeman, Chris Morrison, Brooke Goolsby, and Wyatt Anderson. Our Construction Academy has given our students an opportunity to work on their skills while also giving back to the community. WSRH Extra reporter Wyatt Anderson shows us how our Construction Academy has brought smiles to one local family's face this year. Since its opening, the Construction Academy at Seminole Ridge has been a foundation for attracting students to the school. Despite recent issues, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, the Academy continues to build milestones. It's been a fantastic, I can't even tell you, that's, a, that's not a strong enough word. It's been an unbelievable experience for not only the students, but for us and for the families, for our construction crews, because this is so unique. I, I can't believe uh, how blessed I am to be a part of this program. Yeah. Now I look at David and go, man, we've been doing this for 17 years. We've been building up to this moment. That is because the Construction Academy has recently attended the ribbon cutting ceremony for their ninth house, which is being built in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity and Weiss Construction. Because the pandemic caused delays, seeing the house finally ready for moving makes this house special for the Construction Academy's instructor, Mr. Turkovic. I didn't know what was going to happen. And um, yeah, it could have been the death of the program, it could have been the death of you know the Habitat houses. And um, fortunately, seeing this one completed and delivered, uh, it, it was a special feeling in that I know the program's back up and running. Bellglade resident Maddie Moore and her 16-year-old granddaughter, Kamora, now own it as their first home. This is like a dream come true to me. I always wanted to have something, so when my family comes back home, they always have somewhere to go. They are both incredibly grateful to have the stability of actually owning a home. Now when I go out to college, I don't have to worry about coming home to not having that room, like coming home to a new environment. I can come home to the same exact environment, the same exact room, no changes, no anything. I want to thank everybody, Habitat, the Seminole Ridge, the Commissioner, Win dixie everybody. This is like, I don't know not only are feelings of gratitude echoed by the family and staff of Habitat for Humanity, but also by the construction program themselves. We get to like give back to the community. These people came from nothing a lot of the times, or they came from hard times. It's nice to see them succeed uh, with the help of us. It's a great amount of satisfaction for me. Yeah, I'm very proud of the kids, and I'm proud of the program for what we do for our students and the community. Um, it's kind of a perfect storm, all the good things you want to happen from a school program. With this being their ninth house and more expected in the coming years, Seminole Ridge Construction Academy continues to build a better community, one house at a time. Well, signing off for the final time for WSRH Extra, I'm Wyatt Anderson. Seniors leaving TV production this year have lots of advice for freshmen on how they can make the most of their time in this academy. WSRH Extra reporter Madison Newman has the story. As a new school year here at the Ridge quickly approaches, new students are eager to start their journeys. At the Seminole Ridge Academy orientation that was held on April 26, these incoming freshmen get an opportunity to learn more about the school and all it has to offer. In, I'm pretty excited to be here in Seminole Ridge TV production. Sophia is an incoming freshman in our award-winning TV production academy, which teaches students the process of producing stories in both news and film. I'm excited because I love filmmaking. I love um, movies and um, like just in general, like 
something on screen. Uh, and I would always love to be the part of the background um, doing like storyboarding, scripting, stuff like that. It's really interesting. However, all great things must come to an end. And for our Seminole Ridge TV seniors, it is now time for them to reflect on all the TV Academy has brought them through the years. We were able to go to California my senior year um, back in February of 2022 and it was just an amazing experience. We met so many people in the film industry, in the news industry, and I was able to compete and some of our teammates won awards and um, one of our teammates got third place, another got uh, honorable mention and it was just an amazing experience. Um, it was a whole big family environment and getting to compete with everybody and having that type of bond is something that I'll never forget. These seniors not only want to remember everything they experienced during their time here, but also want to leave a lasting legacy on the program, especially for the incoming freshmen. Um, the impact I want to leave on the academy is just letting kids know that you can make a career out of this, a very successful career and a very uh, rewarding career. If anything, I would like to help like kids like better their communication skills um, and just feel confident and strong in TV as they move forward throughout the years. As my part as a producer in the TV production program is coming to an end, I would like to inspire the incoming students to take advantage of all this program has to offer. Signing off for the last time for WSRH Extra, I'm Madison Newman. The new TV Academy anchor set is a staple for our school. WSRH Extra reporter Liliana Martinez shows us what goes into building this new TV set. While seniors are saying goodbye to the TV production academy, Underclassmen are saying hello to the new addition of our studio. I'm really said. glad it's coming in now. I get a chance to use it. And, you know, our old desk was, was pretty old and it was a little run down. While the new change is exciting, the old set still holds lots of memories. Um, we built that first set back in... Uh, uh, January, I think, of 2006. Um, when we first put it up there, it was just brown and just wood. Um, within the first few months, I painted it, but it was just like gray with like a red bar behind it. Um, maybe a year or two after that, we added in the, the skyline behind it, the blue skyline thing. This is WSRH and the, you know, the, the skyline of West Palm Beach. And pretty much had that same set for the next... 13 years, <laughs> 14 years, it's been forever. So a total of 17 years that set's been out there. Some seniors have a mix of emotions about the new set coming in. I'm definitely a little upset just because I love anchoring and it's very, the new set is very new. It's a very clean look and it's different, especially with us seniors leaving. However, I'm also really excited for the underclassmen who get to have the new set and experience it. The of getting this new set is not exactly so new. There were a lot of hoops and hurdles on this. Um, when, I co when I contacted the district and said, hey, I want to use this company and do the set, they said, well, first, they're not on the approved vendor list. And I'm like, well, they show up in the system. They said, yeah, but they're not on the list. So we had to go through the process of getting them on the list. And then they're like, well, we don't know if this set is uh, approved for risk management. Is it solid enough? Is it fire retardant? Will it burst into flames, so they had to actually go through the specs on it and find out if it was going to be okay with our safety department or whatever. And then eventually they finally approved it, and then it was a whole process of getting going through bids from any other company that might do it cheaper, and then they finally let us get the set. With new changes, we have new beginnings. However, the old memories will forever live on. Signing off, I'm Liliana Martinez. The annual premiere show gives our TV students an opportunity to show off some of their best pieces from throughout the school year. WSRH Extra reporter Jermaine Cole takes us to this event. The opening of Summer Ridge premiere show on May 4th has finally started again. After not being able to showcase because of COVID, things are starting to turn around. Here are some people's reactions to the results. I thought it was an amazing show, you know, only be my second year here, and I've heard many good things about the previous ones. I thought it was amazing. Yes, it was very enjoyable, I really liked it, and I would definitely come back again. Parents were even proud to see their sons' and daughters' amazing films performed tonight. It feels great to see my kid make these videos. It, I, I'm so proud of her. The accomplishment, accomplishments that she's had from freshman year to junior year, and the progression that she's, that she's uh, become. Well, that was an amazing premiere show for today. For WSRH News, I'm Jermaine Cole.
Over the past four years, seniors here at the Ridge have gathered information that have helped them to thrive in both academics and extracurriculars. WSRH Extra reporter Amy Tejeda takes us to meet some seniors who have some advice for incoming students. So today, we're going to go out into the Seminole Ridge campus and we are going to find out what our seniors think the best advice for incoming freshmen is. I personally think the high school experience was weird, mostly because we were out for a year and a half because of a global pandemic and that was weird, but also just weird in general. And today we're going to discover why. At first, we mostly encountered humor. Hello. Advice to incoming freshmen? Oh. Um, I can't even express how much love and gratitude I have for the school. The electives, the classes, the teachers, oh my god, like everything is amazing at this. The food, holy, the friends. This place is a universe for everybody. That's a friend right there. Oh my god, the people recording me right now. Guys, this school is your future, unless you're going to college. Be careful who you kiss. Um, advice to incoming freshmen, um, make sure you do your homework, M make sure um, you go to all your classes, don't skip. But later we encountered some heartfelt messages. Oh my gosh. Freshmen, be involved in everything. Be involved in everything. Make sure that you make the most of your four years here at Seminole Ridge High School. You will not regret it. Okay, honestly, my advice for incoming freshmen would be Take ace classes, man. You don't you don't want to waste your money. Okay, so advice I would give freshmen is to make a really good group of friends because your friends are ultimately going to be what influences you in the future. Uh, don't procrastinate. It'll be your worst enemy. And make a good foundation for yourself the first year you're here, or else it's just going to get harder throughout the rest. You need to do really well your freshman year because if you mess up any of the other years, it won't matter as much for your GPA. So make sure you really focus on your classes and get that GPA up while you can. Mm -hmm. Make sure you uh, be involved with clubs and sports and don't be afraid to try new things. So my advice to any incoming freshman is to care about your grades. That is one thing that I did not do. Um, it goes by fast, so just make sure to take chances while you have the chance to. High school was very strange for anyone who went to school during 2020 or just experienced the pandemic in general. But teachers and students have shown resilience and parents too as well. I hope the incoming freshmen have a very good time in high school. For WHR Extra, signing out for the last time, I'm Amy Tejeda. Project graduation is one of the highlights of being a senior. WHR Extra reporter Brooke Goolsby gives us insight of what seniors should expect for graduation night. So we do have a couple more meetings where we want to make sure... Um... These parents are getting ready for one of the biggest events of the year, Project Graduation, which takes place the night of graduation in the gym at the Ridge. Um, it's a party that we put on for the kids. It starts at 9 and it finishes at 2 a.m. And we have all kinds of events there. We have a hypnotist, we have entertainment, we have a money machine. In order to have this event for the seniors, lots of time, money, and organization is needed which is in the form of fundraising that is carried out through various events. We're doing Sunfests. We're getting with local businesses and asking for donations. We are also raising money um, throughout the school year on various projects. Although Project Grad is all about seniors having fun and enjoying themselves, there's a deeper meaning to this event. Well, it was set up to keep our seniors safe the, the day of graduation instead of celebrating with friends, drinking, and is to encourage them not to do that. In years past, Project Graduation hasn't failed to entertain alumni, with it featuring many activities, and this year's seniors are looking forward to this event. So my sister was class of 2019, so she actually attended it, and she told me there was lots of like fun games and prizes. She actually won like four Rapids tickets, I think. This thrilling, exciting night may be the last chance for seniors to spend time with their high school friends and spend their last moments here at the Ridge. Spending my last moments signing off for WSH Extra, I'm Brooke Woolsby. The National Honor Society is a high-achieving club many students join as early as their sophomore year. Last week, NHS hosted an event to commemorate all the seniors' hard work with their at their time in the club. WSH Extra reporter Andrea Devino has the story.
With graduation just days away, the National Honor Society is awarding seniors for their various accomplishments at the annual NHS Senior Banquet. I felt like the event went really well. The seniors seemed really happy to be recognized for all their accomplishments throughout all the years of NHS. And it was just super cool to see everyone come together for this event. I felt really recognized. I got a gift bag. They said my name. People clapped. It was crazy. It was awesome. For students like Marley, the NHS banquet is not only for applauding students with good grades, but also for the personal growth they have undergone. I joined NHS my sophomore year of high school, and it's been a great opportunity to meet people, improve my leadership skills, and help my community around me. However, achieving these things has not been easy for seniors in the National Honor Society. It was like the most horrible circumstances the last few years with COVID and everything, just to be able to maintain grades, maintain service hours, maintain everything that you guys need to be in, a, in NHS and make it to this point. It's just amazing. It's awesome. The 2022 senior class was not phased by the pandemic and obstacles thrown at them. Instead, they have persevered and learned valuable life skills along the way. I think having the skills for leadership, having the skills for community service, having the skills to um, you know, work hard and stay on top of your goals is just a great skill set to have. As a senior, it's definitely going to be hard saying goodbye to the National Honor Society, but I know that it's prepared me well for my future. Signing off for the last time, for WSRH Extra, I'm Andrea Devino. Guidance counselors are a big part of a student's high school career. WSRH Extra reporter Melina Rifo takes us to meet an impact on our school. As the class of 2022's final days of high school are coming to an end, seniors remember the teachers and staff that has inspired them to become the person they are today. I would have to say Mr. Wright because he's always just pushed me to do my best and definitely helped me realize some of my talents that I didn't know that I had. Ms. Long has been a major inspiration to me. But in the school counselor's quarters sits Mr. Welch, who has had an influence in many students' lives. I've known Mr. Welch since I was a sophomore, and he has helped me become the person I am today and has helped make my college decisions easier. The effect that Mr. Welch has on his students is his favorite part of being a school counselor. So the favorite part of my job is just to be able to be around all the students and see their smiling faces when they... Uh, when they accomplish all their goals, especially high school graduation. It just makes a, a warm place in my heart. Students not just value Mr. Welch as a counselor, but as a mentor. I love Mr. Welch, he's a really inspiring guy, and even though I don't have him as my guidance counselor, I know I can always go to him. And I would not be here without the help of Mr. Welch. A school counselor like Mr. Welch makes the final days of high school a little easier for us seniors. Signing off for the last time for WSRH Extra, I'm Lena Rayfield. Mr. Bell is an English teacher here at Seminole Ridge who makes building up connections with his students a top priority. WSRH Extra reporter Presley Rodriguez has the story. Senior year is the year you reflect on memories and obstacles you've been through. It allows you to think about who was there for you through your years. For some, this influential mentor is their teacher. It's going to be difficult to not have anybody to talk to, to basically just talk through and rant about my day. Mr. Bell has a really good connection with me and he, he just speaks verbally to me as a teacher. Mr. Bell is a 28 year old teacher that teaches English and yearbook. He feels that senior year is crucial because it allows his seniors to experience their first dose of reality. Uh, their first steps into adulthood, into college, into not even just college, but just what's next. Um, with that, I do feel that most of my kids, at least, or at least I try, I try to make those connections with my kids because I do value it. Mr. Bell tries to give the best advice and support he can to his kids. One of his students, Samantha Vernetti, feels that he has helped her in ways that no other mentors could. It will be a little bit harder because he is one of my mentors in life and he helped me throughout a lot of things unlike most teachers mr bell has the capability to understand his students situation since he was just there himself a couple of years ago I'm not strict i'm not lenient i find a balance because in real life there's things that happen you know you know family deaths car accidents you know life hits you and sometimes you just need that extra help and i like to do that with my students Without Mr. Bell, students he has taught, including myself, would be at loss without his support and guidance throughout our high school years. He has made an impact to many students that have crossed his path, which make him unforgettable. For WSRH Extra, I'm Presley Rodriguez. For some student athletes, senior year means scholarship opportunities and having to say goodbye to your sports family. WSRH Extra reporter Ben Gogler takes us to meet one of these seniors, Kyle Andrews. Oh, 
With the 2022 baseball season ending, our varsity baseball team is still persevering despite not having the best start to their season. We've played, we've played all right. We've uh, had a pretty rough schedule. Um, we've lost some tough games. Um, but overall, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're trying. So. However, the amount of time that the team has spent with one another has in turn created a very special bond. So it's one big family. So we win as a family, we lose as a family, we succeed as a family, we mess up as a family. So. This family is beyond proud of one player in particular, Kyle Andrews, who is achieving his dreams. So a former coach that coached at Seminole Ridge um, moved away and went to St. Thomas and he came back well, this year and he was recruiting me. Yes, I knew it was coming. Um, I believe that he, uh, he deserves it and he's worked very hard, um, all I've known him for. So it was something I thought that would happen. It's something he's been working for for a very long time. It's been one of his goals. And it makes me happy as a parent to know that, you know, if you work hard enough, you can, you can achieve your goals. But Kyle's aspiration has been in the making since before he even knew what baseball was. I kind of planned for him to play baseball before he was born. <laughs> so I, when I found out that I was pregnant with Kyle, um, I had gone and bought a really small baseball mitt to give to his dad. So I kind of set it up ahead of time. <laughs> Through baseball, Kyle has transformed his small family of three into a large team. I'm gonna miss all the friends. I got a lot of childhood friends on that team. I'm gonna miss them all. Families that are, you know, like part of our extended family because we've been so many places and done so many things together and it's because of playing ball. Even though the varsity baseball season has come to an end, the relationships and opportunities that baseball has created for Kyle are just beginning. For WR Search Extra, I'm Ben Gogler. Seniors here at Seminole Ridge are graduating soon and now have to figure out exactly what they want their future to look like. WSRH Extra reporter Zachary Dieters highlights our seniors' plans after high school. As seniors' final day approaches, we went around campus to ask one final question. What are your plans after high school? As answers varied, one particular response is more common than the rest. I'm going to the University of Florida. I'm going to college at uh, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. I'm going to Florida State University. I'm going to the University of Florida. Go Gators. I'm going to UF. A majority of the class of 2022 say they plan to attend college, but they each have a unique career path in mind. I'm going to be majoring in nursing. I'm going to be studying mechanical engineering. I'm majoring in sports management. I'm going to go there to, make major, to major in mechanical engineering and also do their naval ROTC program there. I study political science. Senior Isabel Torres says her career will take her out of the country. I'm going to Norway because my family lives there. But not all have their future laid out. Instead, they focus on the impact they intend to imprint onto this world. I don't know yet. I want to be on the forefront of technology, though, and I'm going to change the world. As for me, I plan to pursue a career in filmmaking. As for the rest of my class, they are going after their dreams, and they plan for bright futures. Good luck to all of my peers. Signing off for the last time, I'm Zachary Jeters. Last year, we highlighted a reptile enthusiast in our community that had a passion for caring for reptiles on his own property. Now we visit his property again, but this time for a different reason. WSRH Extra reporter Blake Waterman shows us how he has left a lasting impact on our community. Last February, WSRH Extra visited Fred Grunwald to get the inside on what it takes to take care of reptiles and the passion needed to fuel it. Any animal, but especially a reptile, um, be prepared to give your whole life mm -hmm. to raising that animal because they depend on um, once they're in your possession and you're captive, they depend on you for the, their life. Fred Grunwald did exactly that, taking care of his biggest skaters down to newborn turtles. The work he did in the community contributed greatly. Most of the educational stuff for natural native snakes, um, native reptiles, let people know that they weren't bad. Um, most animals have a place here, and he just wanted to educate people. Fred did just that, educating and contributing to the community up until the end. 
Uh, my dad had cancer in 1992, so and the cancer. treatment was really rough on him, yeah. and it caused him not to be able to talk here at the end. Um, my dad was an, an environmentalist, um, an educator, and a, just a caring, giving person. In his life, although hard, Fred was able to make a difference in the community, educating side by side with family and friends. Uh, he said, uh, everybody loves the rescue puppies, nobody loves the rescue snakes. So that's what his job was. The impact that Fred Grunwald had on the reptile communities will be remembered for decades to come. Signing off for the last time for WSRH Extra, I'm Blake Waterman. Well, that's it for this episode of WSRH Extra. For the last time, I'm Andrea Davino. And I'm Madison Newman, signing off for the final time. Make sure to follow us and send submissions to us at Seminole Ridge TV on social media. And for the last time for WSRH Extra, the, the class, class of 2022. 2022. Oh my God. <laughs>